um, Sandra, <laughs> Sandra Thomas. Um, people normally just call me Sandy. We in Bathurst, Eastern Cape, and this is my kitchen. <laughs> well, when I lived in East London, I painted Eastern Cape landscapes there, and then I moved to. When I was in Lady Grey, the scenery changed. It's mountains, it's um, very desolate. There's no, not many trees, um, sheep farming, um, the most beautiful rock formations, those beautiful colors, pink grasses and red grasses. And, and so I basically paint where I am. I don't go out looking for things to paint. They come to me. When I had my own business in East London, it was a gallery, art gallery, picture framing and art supply. I started off very small and then I, I built a, a gallery on. It was difficult as a woman to, to, to get recognized and respected. I still feel it's a, a male dominant country, really is. Um, and of course, of the Koza or the Zulu don't respect women as much as they should. They really don't. The African man doesn't. He still thinks they're beneath him. That's very sad. I think the, the, the black women have a disadvantage because they haven't had um, family upbringing. They haven't got family unity. No, that's outside. They, they, they don't have husbands that stay with them. They, they so I, I don't know how to explain, am I explaining that right? They just don't, I feel sorry for them because they, they everything and they're on their own, most of them. Some of them are lucky the men stay with them. So for them, I really admire them, women that can have a business and children and, and, and do it in this country. When I had my children, I was able to spend 10 years with my babies growing up before I had to start working. So it's, a, um, I suppose, a financial thing that every mother must work in this country. I mean, my daughters would love to have been able to stay at home with their children and have 10 years before they go to school. But they have to work to... Um, to survive, because that's not enough, you know, for two children and, you know, well, my eldest is a, a single mother, which is even worse. But um, there is opportunities there for women. They've just got to stand up for themselves and go and do it.